All right. All the way. Good job. Yeah. See? See? Now you're getting it. Good job. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome back. This is part two of uh, our laid back grinding. Our episode 307's laid back grinding. So part two. Just to break it up because they are rather long ones. But that's okay. Just helps me to upload them. And keep them going so they should be back to back. So hopefully you guys didn't have to wait too long for this one to come up. All right. So now we're going to do the meth sale. And onwards with our double money um, uh, biker cells. So let's see. Sell stock. 714,000 out of town. Away we go. So jump right into that. So if uh, any of you newcomers might want to catch part one first. If All you right. uh, somehow found this one first. Only accessible by seaplane. Uh, Products loaded up and ready to go when you are. Uh, uh, don't OC planes. Okay. Oh, pull up. Pull up. <laughs> Pyro away. Yeah, so we were talking earlier um, in part one that, yeah, the Dodo seaplanes. Not my favorite. And sometimes I'm tempted to cancel them and to try again. But it gives you random missions, so you could suffer a lot of penalties and spend a lot of time trying over and over and over. Um, and end up getting the same ones or the post op trucks. So I try not to complain and just get them done sometimes. Yeah, I don't mind the Dota Seaplane one, but it's a little bit of a long mission, and uh, compared to a single truck mission, which is done in five minutes, this this takes 25, sometimes more. But I usually get it done in time, though. All right, let's put away our vehicle and Dota Seaplane away. Low. We don't want the cops on our tail. Fly low for this one. Keep an eye on your radar. And it buzzes at you when you're too high, too. But hopefully some of you guys have seen us doing this in the past. Now, I should check the map. Get an idea of where we're going. Yeah, all the way around. This is going to be a long flight for this one. They're usually not as long as this particular flight will be. This one we're going all the way up, one coast and down the other before we come back for another plane. So it is a good idea to have uh, other people helping you too, of course, obviously. But this is just how to do it solo too. Laid back grinding, how to do it solo. Yeah, I do sometimes have friends help me out, and I uh, probably should have more friends help me out in the future. That makes this stuff easier. <laughs> And you get a couple other easier cell missions, like the backpack missions. Um, those are really good biker cell missions that only show up when you have more than one player. And you all get basically you get a backpack, and uh, and for the most part, it's up to you how you bring it to the drop spots. So that's a very good uh, cell mission compared to these other ones. So I'm going to get the buzzer here. See? But there's hills, and now the hills come back up. So on the bottom left corner, you can see that little, on my map, the little radar, little altimeter bouncing up and down. Yeah, now it's comes all the way back up with that hill. And now it's going to go back down with the little valley and back up. So a lot of times I don't worry about staying low. I just kind of make sure that there's an obstacle at some point to reset it. And then the cops never show up. Yeah. The more you do that, the more that'll make sense. I've learned though that uh, the altitude is different over different bodies of water, especially the lake near uh, near uh, Sandy Shores. That lake, uh, for some reason, the water doesn't count as the al uh, the altitude, like as ground level. It actually counts ground further down, so you have to fly lower to the ground when you're flying over that uh, over that lake that's in the middle. Then you should have to. But yeah, it's like it doesn't seem to register that the water's there, and it's the ground underneath it. So there's the uh, flares up above us, ahead of us. 
sometimes it can give you the wrong flares though just so you guys know like um, you'll see flares that are actually for another dodo seaplane one of the ones that i haven't grabbed yet that's back there or if you had friends helping you out um, that it could be a flare for them so sometimes they're not your flares so you might want to make sure just because i know some people will see the flare and they assume it's for them but not always I generally try to fly up as high as I can without obviously setting off the alarms. And here and there I know that the land is going to come back up like this beach right there. It's going to go up a little bit higher in altitude so I don't have to worry about it. So I can go higher. And if you do get the alarm it gives you plenty of time before you have to call the police. Or before you have to call Lester. So before the police will be on you. So you don't really have to worry about it, you can always call Lester to call them off. But I try to save that just in case, because you never know if you're going to need it again. And you can only use Lester, I think, once every five minutes or something like that. So watch out for power, power towers, <laughs> hydro towers, power lines, yep. Thankfully the wires don't catch you. <laughs> that would be even harder. Oh, the beach down there. All right. Looks like we're going into the night again. Got up on the next drop, third drop. Drop away. Now we'll head to the next one. Not worried about that because the yeah, ground's caught up to us. Turned off the alarm. I'm only explaining it like that because a lot of people, you know, when you first get this mission, you think you have to like swerve and go up and down and stay with the ground, and you don't. Thankfully, you do not. <laughs> and doing all that kind of fancy flying, uh, even if you are good at it, would slow you down and uh, not get you done as fast. And if you're solo, that might mean that you may not get it done in time. If you're doing a full uh, meth lab or whatever, a full solo one, all three planes. It's obviously much easier if you do half cells. You know, sell when your, your company's half full, and then you usually get one or two uh, vehicles, depending on how you like it. And a lot of people like that, and it's a good way of doing it and even easier to do it solo. The reason I don't is because, um, well, it's less fun, I suppose, and just to show people that you can do it all solo, even when it's all three vehicles. And also because uh, um, even though it's easier with, with a half cell, it would mean me doing double cells. So if I do, you know, four uh, MC cell missions, then that means I have to do eight for the same amount. And being that I also have a bunker and this and that and all these other things to do, um, you know, I don't have to worry about, uh, uh, less visits is, is better. It's more time efficient, I guess you could say. And time is kind of money, I suppose you could say. So. But for some people out there, if you don't have too many businesses, or just one cocaine lockup, you know, or things like that, you might be better off just, uh, selling when there's just one vehicle. And that's nice and easy. I was trying to find vehicles and was not paying attention to the right things. There we go. Now one thing I don't like about this mission is even though I'm all out of product, I still cannot fly high. So, the police will come after me after a certain, that same altitude level. But only in this Dodo seaplane that's completely empty of all our, of all our goods, so it doesn't really make much sense. Unless the police are tracking that exact plane, which would, I don't know why they would be doing that. Who's giving us away? Hmm. Yeah. Because I can hop into the pyro here and 
immediately get up to uh, high altitudes and that's not a problem. Just in the Dodo seaplanes does it get in your way. make it look slow sometimes when you're in the cinematic. <laughs> it's actually moving along pretty quick. But I shouldn't really do stunt flying because we're we're trying to hurry to get done. And like I said, the Dodo seaplane mission is a little tight of a mission to do solo. It doesn't leave a lot of room for uh, mistakes. It can be done though. Not super hard or anything, it's just just no time to waste. No Alright, I meant to put it right there exactly, yeah. <laughs> I completely meant that. Let's put that away, get in the Dodo Seaplane. As soon as he hops on, starts the engine, press pause. Clear old GPS, set a new GPS for usually the closest one. And then I'm looking where the other ones are, one, two, three, so on the top and over here. Hmm, how to do that? Okay, well, we'll figure it out on the way. So I could go up to that one that I marked, and then continue up all the way around the map. Let's get some altitude. And then after we've done them all the way around on that map, we would head towards the lake where that other one was and then come back here. Or I can go all the way up and then as soon as I hit this first one, turn to the lake and then go around all the top of the map and then head back. Not sure which way would be faster. Mm. But it's a good idea to look at your map and kind of make a mental path, mental circle if possible, of where you want to go. And then it cuts down a lot of the time of flying back and forth in a bad pattern. Sometimes I'm kind of like trying to get it to boost, you know, give it a little bit of a drop. To try to get it going a little faster. Not that there's really much you can do with a Dodo seaplane to make it go any faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's our flares coming up here. Will we be able to see it in cinematic? Yep, there it is, just ahead of us. Yep. Meth delivery. And I think we are going to continue north. I think we're going to go around the top and then we'll head back to the lake as the last spot. The lake in the middle of the map and that will be our, our last drop. And then we'll probably switch aircraft at that point and go pick up the last Dodo seaplane and then hopefully finish its run in time. I do like the Dodo seaplane runs though, sometimes it's really nice when, you, when you're doing them at sunset or sunrise, it can be really awesome. Right now it's just kind of night time, but at least we got a nice uh, bright moon today. Got the marquee down there. Hmm. Yeah, it'd be a nice night for sailing. Oh, that's not our drop. That's a drop. And then we got to go all the way around. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, 
Yeah, so. I don't hate them, but it is my disliked mission. Very slow, comparatively. It's always nice when you get a single truck. And away you go and you drop it off and you're done. Ah, oh, it's so much better. Storm clouds in the distance. I think it's just nighttime effect. Yeah, so I was thinking about some classic cars I mentioned. Yeah, I think uh, Bernard Daniel mentioned that. <laughs> but he was thinking about some more classic cars. Uh, not Benny's cars, though. And I thought about that too. Yeah. That's what I was thinking about some other classic cars that I've been in the game for a while. And some other newer classic cars that they gave us. Um, I was thinking about the uh, Rapid G GT Classic. So I guess I'll let you guys know that. But you already know that from you've been watching for a long time. Because I was interested in that car when it came out. That's a nice car. And one of the ones we do not have in our garage yet. There's a bunch of other cars too I still want to get. Good collector cars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and lots more missions I gotta get around to doing too. And our Bambushka. <laughs> our poor, poor Bambushka. It's been sitting in there, waiting for Rockstar to fix armor. <laughs> and me to get around to getting it done. But I've been thinking about it a lot lately, so that's why it came out of my mouth. So I'm thinking about my Bambushka again. Hmm, I should get that done. And the Molotox on sale this week too, so I was thinking about that too. The, uh, the uh, I don't know what you call it, uh, vintage jet fighter. Yeah, but I like it. It's kind of a cool plane. There are other ones that are better, perhaps, but uh, but I already have a lot of those ones, so now I'm interested in, uh, in a nice collector jet fighter. And it's very capable too. Great air brakes. Yeah. All right. So now we're heading towards the lake. And then we're heading back for the last one. We get to pass by the lighthouse. Oh, lucky trip for you guys. Yeah, here comes the lighthouse. Are you ready? Here it goes. Ta -da! Awesome. Very cool. <laughs> Alright. Over the bridge. Off to drop number 10, the last one for this plane. Yeah, still no key flam shirt on up there. Remember, maybe when we uh, when we finish this, we'll see for uh, try one more time for a key flam shirt. Let's see if we can handle the Macbeth. The last drink of the evening. One more time. Oh. See how low you gotta fly over the the, um, the lake? It's like it doesn't detect the water as ground level. It detects the ground underneath. Yeah. Uh, nope. No, I didn't want it to you, Ben. Ah. Push the button at the wrong time there. Yeah, that did not work for me. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Yeah, now I can't call in another vehicle for four minutes. Uh, oh well, I guess we're flying the Dodo seaplane all the way back. Old school way. This is the way I used to do it all the time back when we started. Although I think I used the buzzard too as soon as I, I caught on to that. 
you'd call Pegasus and go to the nearest uh, airfield, and away you'd go. With that said, I don't really think we're all that far. Yeah, I kind of messed up calling that, that aircraft in. <laughs> Called in my Cuban. <laughs> I should sell that thing. That's the free aircraft that comes with your hangar. You get a free Cuban. I can't remember what it is. Cuban 800 or something? Yeah. Don't know why I still have it in there. It's usually in storage. <laughs> I think that's the first time it's ever been brought out. Yeah. Playboy Mansion, the spoof Playboy Mansion, the Party Mansion, Thursday night, Thursday morning. Alright, landing wheels down. It's okay, it's not our plane, but it's nice when it stops. There. <laughs> but we're not keeping it, it's okay. We just need to land safely and get in this one. This guy we go. Slowly. <laughs> Last plane. And as you guys can see about what I mean about being tight, and I lost a few moments here and there with changing aircraft, but that's okay. We should still be okay. But we'll see. Many times I've been on the Dodo seaplane mission, cell mission, and I've been thinking that I I wasn't gonna make it. But I did. I think I've made it every time so far. We'll play this time too. We'll see. Yeah, eight minutes left on the clock, and we don't have to come all the way back. We just have to drop off these last five, and we're done. We're getting those weird little sunbeam lights coming through. Early morning lights. So we've got three in the north. Drop down here. There we go. The one we're heading at, and then those two. So on the map, I'll, I'll turn it so they're in front. So there's the one we're at, though, with our purple GBS on it. And then we're going to go to that one. And then we're going to go to that yellow icon there. And then over to that one, and then that one. It'll be all the way down there. Almost there. And then we'll see if we can head back and uh, and uh, do a weed sale, maybe. Yeah. Maybe they'll give us the single vehicle truck for that one. That'd always be nice. And then some future laid-back ones. We're gonna have to get the crate warehouse going and get that full. And we'll do a crate sale mission too. Haven't done one of those in a little while. And it's a good idea to maybe have those. If you do have a crate warehouse, it might be a good idea to have those full. Um, I can't promise anything because I can't speak for Rock, Rockstar, but almost every holiday, um, like uh, New Year's and Christmas and things like that, they usually have a double money uh, event for the um, uh, for the crate warehouses. So it might be a good idea to have yours, you know, mostly full or somewhat started before that time comes in case they give it to us uh, again this year. And it's a good way of making a whole bunch of extra money. Yeah. Yeah, in the nightclub I'll keep that building up. And building up and keep doing those little special orders until it's full and then do a big full one. Assuming that it ever fills up. Sometimes you're doing enough uh, 
uh, special orders that it doesn't fill up in time before you're selling more again. Hmm, nice yeah, working all day and all night. Pimping ain't easy. <laughs> Bikers ain't easy. Illicit CEOs ain't easy. At least not the way the Rockstar makes it. <laughs> yeah. Geez, the bosses have to work for their money in this world. I think the Wagner's on sale this uh, this week too, which I, I already do have. It's a great little uh, supercar. It's one of the best ones for track times. Yeah, for for turning tracks, you know, not necessarily top speed, but in loop to loop tracks, things like that. Yeah, the Wagner's uh, usually 1.4 million, I think, and right now it's uh, around 900,000 or something like that. So. For any of you interested, that's a good uh, good supercar to get. These mountains. I'm trying to remember the layout. I think I remember. It is that way. That's what I was trying to remember is that I'm supposed to turn this way and then go over there or that way and then go over. Yeah, it was this way. That's okay. That's all right. A few more seconds, a little bit off, but we should still be fine. And the very last drop coming up. There's our meth all done. Not bad at all. Double money. Ooh. Another 714,000. Not bad at all. All right, let's head back to our helicopter here. And disband our MC again to avoid any raids in our weed factory. Our weed farm. Because if you hang out doing nothing, is what it considers it, it'll probably give me a raid. Raids are annoying because there's no real profit to be had, just risking your your time and risking your product. Rather annoying. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the raids. <laughs> More success. Good. Mm hmm. Yeah, because I think I'm going to be spending some on cars coming up. I was thinking about some of the other ones they have on sale too. Uh, the Italia GTB, and they also have the, um, oh, I'm to remember what it's called. Yeah, one of the other supercars is on. I know the Entity XXR, one of the newer ones there too. Oh, and the uh, Enid, yeah, 
Oh, I'm trying to remember what it is. It's a high-end supercar. Yeah. Oh, I bet you we could find it right now. Hmm. Yeah, it might be out of ways down though. Let's try by a price. Maybe it'll come sooner. Hopefully I'm not going to crash. <laughs> Usually I'm a lot faster to find things. Apparently not today. to do that. I must have gone by it. Yeah, the Debashi Rapid class GT Classic. The Wagner that I mentioned. Yeah. Maybe it was last week's sale. Hmm. Good timing. <laughs> and again, not recommended to go surfing while you're flying when you're the pilot. <laughs> but we're okay. We made it. We're gonna, we're gonna try again. And I know what I did wrong. We need to go to Benny's. That's what I think it is. It is Benny's. It is where they are. And the Trophy Nero, that's what I was trying to remember. Yeah, so Trophy Nero's on sale. Cool. That's the ones. <laughs> Alright. Just because I feel like it, we're going to do a quick head under. So it'll only take me a quick moment. Target number one in a car. Eliminated. Alright, now I'll head over there. Now I do also have my document and forgeries ready to go. Um, I was trying to empty it out. I don't recommend the documents and forgeries, just to make that clear. I have only bought it for uh, nightclub sourcing. But that said, you know, it's a good idea to run a couple cells um, because then you get decorations in your clubhouse from the uh, from the document forgery uh, business. So, but I've already done a few cells, but I had some leftover product in there, so I kind of added some more just so I could do one more cell, cell mission out of it to clean it out. And now it's double money, even though it's still going to be terrible money for the document forgery. <laughs> it's still a terrible business. But, you know, if ever there's a time to clean it out, it's when there's double money, so maybe we'll do that too. Target the right guy down there. Uh, and this guy will be another car. And head, head under, there's uh, we have our head under guide on the on the site. If you guys want to on our channel, if you, any of you guys want to check it out, where I just put together a whole bunch of different head unders and kind of give you the idea for all the spots they'll be in. And it's best to launch them in the city, and they're always in a close area. It's a nice, fun, quick mission. But there's always two vehicles, two mobile targets, and two stationary targets. This one's always a slight pain, getting them through here. There we go. There we go. And over here. <clears throat> Alright, quick little cough there. And then I come all the way out here to the water. And hit that one there. That's it. And I switch off my missiles because yeah, I don't like I don't like accidentally locking on to people unless I mean to. <laughs> when I lock on, it's usually because I mean to. Yeah. 
All right, so there we go. Another headhunter completed. Four more VIPs taken care of. Hmm. We put our, hmm. We are in the area of the documents and forgery. Uh, uh. You have forgotten about me, my friend. What? Why well, you just don't send me enough money, Martin? <laughs> More money, and we'll talk. Alright. Well, let's hope we get something nice and easy. Maybe we can always hope that's a nice single vehicle. Right? But this is the documents and forgeries. So there's five MC businesses. Four of them are recommended. And uh, the best ones being cocaine and meth, typically. And I like the counterfeit cash. And weed's uh, lower down the list, but it, it, it does profit. And I find it's a nice novelty. This one is not the one to buy. But a lot of people have it for the nightclub sourcing nowadays. And just bought it because back in the day when bikers first came out. A lot of people uh, didn't know. Yeah, so let's see if we can clean out that product. 252000 So at least I get double money from it. Something. <laughs> I said I did a handful of cell missions just okay, to get the decorations to the clubhouse. Attempting some discretion here, oh, no. pretending we're the postal service. <laughs> Got it? No. Okay. The product's loaded. No, 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 no. Now, usually, depending on what system you're on, you can just exit game, and sometimes you won't even suffer a penalty from canceling. Um, but. Uh, um, you know, that, that's up to you. You can always change sessions, but you almost always suffer a penalty that way. But it's usually only a tiny little bit of your product. So it's less of a penalty than if I had a, uh, played through that mission and I had gotten the, uh, I had not been able to finish that third truck. So it's more profitable for me to just quit it than it is to try to do the post off, post up trucks yourself. All anyway, right, where are we? Looks like it's time to rebook a DJ. And then we'll go off and try the weed in the meantime. Or maybe a CEO uh, car. And there might even be another good nightclub cell here. We'll find out. Let's find out. So log in, a resident DJ. Uh, sure. There we go. I just change them back and forth all the time, just to keep that bar up. Ooh, and we got lots of offers. All none of them too big though, but that's okay. They're they're all good sizes. Excellent. All right. So maybe we will do one of those. Hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Okay. Now one second. Ah, oh, sorry guys. A little cough. Winter is coming. Uh, I guess maybe it's you already gotten me. <laughs> All right. So uh, a lot of people wonder about the solo sessions. We've talked about those in the past too, but I'll show hey, you guys what I do. With the server maintenance, me and the guys are gonna head upstairs and okay, yeah, we we no. just stay here. Yeah, I... yeah, yeah, keep sourcing. <laughs> Maybe when I get you guys some replacements, you can hang it up there. <laughs> All right, so for me guys, I'm gonna drop down to my desktop. I'm on the computer, so it makes it easier. Resource monitor is built into all kinds of computers, um, like all the way back. So you should uh, have it on whatever type of uh, Windows computer you have. Click on GTA 5. So you want to click on your network. It already stays that way once you clicked on it once. So I never have to click on that again. It just stays that way. So resource monitor, network. And I'll give it a second. GTA 5 will show up. Suspend process. And now I've suspended it. Now I'm waiting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15. It's usually about seven real real seconds, but I count fast. 
and then you pop back in and there we go all right and now we should be on our own and that is how uh you can drop into your own session now some people think that's a, a solo session and to me it kind of is i guess but to me that's starting a new session so some people can change network settings on their consoles and things like that and that kind of makes it so that you are almost always lagging a little bit in the network so that people always have a hard time joining you um but what i've done right now is just simply started a new session it's just um you know they just see it as a moment of lag and it creates a brand new session for me and now other people could join in right now like any moment now or maybe i'd see nobody for an hour or two or three but maybe there'd be 30 people in here within 10 minutes you never really know yeah so it's basically starting a new session i'll explain that because a lot of people think it's a solo all to myself session yeah, sometimes but you never really know yep and if you're on the consoles and things, you can look up different ways of doing it. Generally speaking, for the most part, a lot of people just learn ways of, of turning off your internet or unplugging your internet and plugging it back in at the right amount of time, very short time, to just simply trip up your, your lag enough that it drops you into your own session. We've talked about that in the past. I'm just kind of breezing through a whole bunch of stuff this time through. So don't want to be too repetitive, but also telling everybody what we're doing. Now. We were going to do another sell from the nightclub. Unplanned, but good money. So let's see, what do we got? Organic produce. Oh, that's a weed sell. Cargo shipments. Mm, South American imports. All would fit in the van. All three of these fit in the van, so I don't have to worry about the mule custom. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to go for the big one. Pacific Rim Finance. Away we go. What do you got this time, Tony? Something good, something good, something quick, something easy. <laughs> okay, so you want to sell this, right? Oh, yeah. Because boy, do I want it out of our basement. Yeah, the buyer's people are going to guide you to the drop in a helicopter. Get out to their location and signal them with a flare, then follow the chopper to the drop. What? <laughs> uh, I think I've done this before, but it's like, Tony, what, what? And when they were telling you this, you didn't, you didn't stop them and go, okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen, we're professionals. Um, we're not going to do it that way. <laughs> we're going to do it many of the other normal ways or more protected ways or less, uh, uh, what would you call it? Sorry. Less, uh, heat getting, you know, le less, uh, attention getting, you know, than, uh, following around a helicopter on ground. Like you would think this is not exactly very subtle, you know? <laughs> Okay, I mean, uh, use the flare gun to let them know you're there. Okay. Flare gun added. Okay. Alright. You've been following my bleeds, huh? Smart girl. Yeah. Get the shoot right at him. <laughs> okay, they've got you now. Follow the chopper, make the drop, and we are all good. Seems to be heading north. Of course, he doesn't follow the road, so you gotta kind of keep an eye on him. Oh, it's looking for the last second there. Guessing he's going up this road. So away we go. Come on, you're in a helicopter. Hurry up. <laughs> Why do we need to play this cat and mouse game? I do not know. Just land and give me the money. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to slow down to let the, catch, the helicopter catch up. Terrible pilot. Oh, there we go. It's turning. Excuse me. <laughs> Coming through. Nightclub management. Do with some of the craziest buyers in the nightclub. 
They want some strange requests. So I find it best not to bother with all those little little side roads and stuff that he flies over. Just stick to the main roads and stay near them. Until it turns off one way or another. It looks like... Where's he going? He's going across the river. Nope. Stick on the main roads. Okay, there's the job. My job is done. Park up and my boss will send over the payment. That's what I'm talking about. Payment. <laughs> All right. All goods successfully sold to the buyer. Very cool. Gets money for nothing there. Thirty-seven thousand. I'm on the clock. What you want? Some wheels? <laughs> for that. <laughs> I'll bring it by. Yeah, it's probably quicker that we just helicopter out of here anyway. Hmm. I did that in my MC for the first time too. And no raid, which is kind of nice. Gotta be careful of that. <laughs> I was wondering why it was looking different. I couldn't call in my stuff. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Okay. And we've still got our uh, our flare gun ready. <laughs> Very strange mission. Hey, hey! You made the sale. You got sure the money running through the tills, and in a minute you'll have receipts for everything. Minus the laundering fee, of course. Yeah. $37,000 laundering fee. Tony. All right. Up, up, and away. Might actually be a good idea to change vehicles again, actually. Should we do the Hunter this time? I like my Akula. Akula, but you guys have already seen it, so a couple times, so maybe we'll just pull up the Hunter. Why not? And now we're going to take that to the weed farm. Oh, oh, oh. Nice, fast little helicopter, but uh, it could be uh, a little precarious when you're landing it. <laughs> All right. Up, up, and away. And now that we're no longer in a CEO helicopter, we can uh, retire from our company. At this point, I could go off and get some crates. I could uh, go off and uh, do a CEO car. And we could also do some headhunters or sightseers. But I did want to hop on and do all the bigger businesses, being that they were double money right now. And get those out of the way with. And the bunker is always easy, too. And the nightclub, when those cells are ready, it's always nice, too. Yeah. Indeed. Well... 
our weed farm is right here. So let's see. Hopefully, no post stop trucks this time. No mail delivery trucks. I really wish Rockstar would, would change that and stop those from, from appearing. You know, they kind of make the argument that you're not supposed to do these things alone, solo. Oh, well, yeah. But already, the code already knows when you're alone and when you're not alone. Um, the backpack missions that we mentioned earlier, you know, that they don't, you never get those alone because the game knows that you're, you're alone. So you never get that particular kinds of missions. Um, if it's, if it's already denying you certain missions based on whether or not you have other bikers with you or not, why not block out the other mission that you can't be done in solo? Do you know what I mean? Like if they're already putting in code that, that judges whether or not you're allowed the mission, then why not take that one out <laughs> unless you have more than one biker with you? Even with two players, it can be hard to, uh, to do that mission, actually. It's just so slow. All right, here we are. Yeah, let's just stop right in there. Let's get the weed out to the masses. <laughs> uh, 504,000, that's always nice to see. Okay, we're uh, no, we're not attempting discretion. Didn't I talk to you about this already, LJT? What the heck? <laughs> we are not attempting your dumbass plan. <laughs> Jeez. That plan the police on foot can get you. Like, oh. Yep, not even the bicycle police, just like foot police. <laughs> So slow, those those trucks. So for those of you that don't know that maybe I've been too quick, those are uh, um, uh, post-op trucks. So basically mail delivery trucks, like a courier mail, like a UPS truck or something. But they're incredibly slow, especially uphill. And when you're alone, you can't finish the whole mission in time. Even with two players, you can't finish the mission in time. It's, it's a terrible, it terrible mission. Hey, I'm working, I promise. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, keep up the good work. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll drop into our other session and uh, try again. Let's, are we lucky enough to see anything else good in the uh, in the nightclub? Hmm, I don't think so. Well, but then again, maybe those other ones are still sitting there. Oh yeah, locked. Another four minutes. Can't do it. Okay, so I'm going to drop down again, and unfortunately we'll start a new session again. So let's spend browsers. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So, yeah, so I just thought I'd leave that in there for you guys this time around just so people can see. That's the one thing that I don't really do much of that stuff as we've talked about before. You know, no tricks or glitches or anything like that. But that's the one thing I do do. Partly because I don't really agree with the way Microsoft, or uh, Microsoft, the way that uh, Rockstar has put this thing together, the way they built that particular part. You know, almost every game out there lets you start a new session or join a new session or join an empty session or a full session. And uh, GTA does not let you do any of that. So it's kind of annoying that way. Now, yeah, we'll just call in a helicopter. Yeah. That's what we were going to do. It's getting to be nighttime. Oh, we need to expand that again. I think it's because I quit session. So I forgot to disband it. I still use my buzzer a lot too. That might happen. It all depends if I'm in a hurry or if I'm going to run a quick headhunter. And you're still better off to use other vehicles for your headhunter, but uh, but a good a good old fashioned buzzer still does the job when you're in a hurry. Okay, so through the menu, I'm just calling in my personal hunter. Hopefully it'll show right up here. Yep, there we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's too bad. I was hoping we got, we could avoid those today, guys, but we ran into it twice. The post up trucks. The horrible, awful Rockstar should really change it. Post op trucks. <laughs> yeah, like I said, quitting and taking the penalty, if you get one, is uh, is by far a better way than trying to do the mission and failing. And losing more money after you've already spent a half an hour working on it on top of that. Okay. So, back over here, we'll try the weed farm again. <laughs> Maybe I should try the car. CEO car. The other one, the documents and forgeries, isn't too big of a deal because it's not a lot of money for that one. That one I'm just kind of doing to empty out the product, just to get my little bit of money back out of it. And then I might not ever uh, visit it again. I don't know. But of course, my nightclub is always sourcing from it, so. Which is the main reason we have it. Well, as you guys can see, there's a little penalty there. A little tiny missing bit in our blue bar. But that's okay. We're here now. Let's try to run it. I won't worry about that a little bit. Try again. No post op trucks, please. <laughs> a boat. We on? Okay. It's a boat drop. Products loaded and waiting. Uh, they'll pay more for it if you get it to them quick, so get on over to the dock. Well, it's too bad. As we've talked about before, the weed farm has uh, one of the uh, the only um, uh, unique cell missions uh, where you have a stoned uh, passenger, and he gets you um, stoned while you while you're driving along. So you kind of have to navigate the way back and call off the cops and avoid cops and avoid doing too much damage. And it's kind of like driving uh, under the influence, basically. And it's a very difficult drive when you're not used to it. <laughs> but in general, once you do get used to it, it's a nice, easy trip. You know, it's generally an easy one. Not as easy as the straightforward single truck, but it's almost as good. But I was hoping we could get that one, because that's kind of unique to the weed farm. But that's okay. We'll take the boat one, and it's a different boat one that we've seen last time. And like I said, most of the uh, boat ones are actually pretty good. Pretty quick. Most of the time. I think that one through the river, to me, is one of the worst ones that we did earlier. In, in the, uh, earlier for meth, I think it was, for our meth farm, or meth lab. Yeah. to dive. Uh, I was trying to return it to storage, but it's just not letting me. Oh well. Oh well. So watch out for the rocks on this one. See all those little warning lights? <laughs> That's because of rocks. There's a few different ways through these rocks, so you don't have to actually worry about them too much. But you do want to be careful with them when you're not uh, familiar with them. Yep. Especially when you're near the coastline like that.
go on the way. Yeah, making good money. I think we started at uh, 28 million and change. 28 million, maybe 20, just shy of 29, I think. So, wow. Uh, so, yeah, getting close to 3 million, I think. Hmm. That might be one of the most I've ever made, which is regular grinding, like without a, a crate warehouse ready to go or something like that. I think the double money have, uh, for uh, biker businesses might have something to do with that. <laughs> get some more cars but I didn't want to uh, I know we've done a bunch of cars a little lately so I know some people are, we're waiting for more laid-back grinding and I'm gonna to try to do some more too in the future the near future but I have some cars in mind but I thought we'd do our laid-back and it's good to make money to pay for it anyway especially when there's a double money of it like there is right now Ooh. there we go thought I might have missed it but nope All right, heading back. Yeah, I think whenever I come along this one, it um, it tends to uh, spawn your aircraft and stuff too far away. Yeah, way too far away. It would take me forever to get over there. So, without a friend helping you or something, you're better off on this particular one to just boat your way all the way back. So this boat is now empty. We'll just take it back. Switch over to the second boat. Yeah, like I said earlier, I wish, um, maybe it was in part one, but I really wish Rockstar would add more spawn points, you know, for vehicles and especially for aircraft and stuff. Like all this spot along here, there's all this country, rural, um, off-roading terrain. And that's fine, and I know it would be more difficult around here, but still, you'd think my, my little havoc should spawn on that little beach. Why not, you know? Certain other little vehicles and stuff, why wouldn't they be able to spawn somewhere around here? But instead, they spawn all the way back in at the highway quite often. Far, far away. Yeah. It seems to be like basically a dead zone along there um, for, for spawn spots. Yeah. Let's go through. We can be a little bit more playful. We maybe shouldn't be, but <laughs> we have no valuable product on board anymore. So if we beach, we just have to swim a little bit around a corner here. jump off the dinghies it quite often gives you a rebreather automatically because it assumes that you want to go um, diving underwater but that's okay starting to rain on us.
Yeah, it'd be nice if I could find a good spawn point along here. Somewhere where my Avenger would show up, or somewhere where my, my personal aircraft would show up. But it just doesn't. That I found along here. So far. Alright, one more drop on this boat. Now we gotta go back for the last boat. <laughs> All right, this time around we're gonna call in the Avenger. But yeah, I know from experience it's probably not gonna put it anywhere where we can actually use it in any kind of timely fashion. It's over there. Let's take a quick second and look on the map. Yeah, there it is, all the way over there. That's a long way on foot, all the way to go over there. And my other aircraft, the Pyro, all the way even further on the other far side of the highway. Like, really, there's nowhere in all this space that Rockstar could find for my little jet fighter to go. <laughs> you know? I think they need to add some spawn points around there, if you ask me. I think that's a lot of space that nothing can spawn in. <laughs> and when I look through it, you know, yeah, it's tight. You know, there's not a lot of spots, but there is beaches and things like that that I don't know why my helicopters can't show up there. Yeah, the small aircraft, right? Anyway, I bet you, you know, things like the Avenger would be nice, but at the very least, the small aircraft should show up there. So you're not so stranded. Oh, it's a bigger wave starting for him now. Oh, she's a rough seas, Captain. <laughs> Hold on to your lunch. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh, that was a big drop. <laughs> It's always nice. Sometimes you can catch it when you you uh, you lift off at a high point and then you drop down. You know, like, yeah. I have a peak to the water right below a, a drop in the water, and you just end up with a whole bunch of hair for a couple seconds. Which is pretty cool. Almost there. Go boat number one. <laughs> there we go. Away we go. Uh oh. Whoa. There. There we go. That was a lot of air. <laughs> Not recommended. But we made it. We made it. Missed my turn. There we go. All right. So, yeah, last boat. Four more drops, and then we're done. All the main MC selling that I wanted to do. Yeah, the documents forgery is kind of an extra. Not really a lot of money I'm going to get out of that, but 
some. Uh -huh. Should take a marquee out in these waters <laughs> one of these days. Try some rough sailing. Two more drops. All right, so now yeah, finish this up, and then what will we do? Hmm, documents and forgeries. Man, I might even put that off for later. Do I want to? Maybe we'll do a car CEO car. Yeah, just so we can change cars and see what. Uh, See what the different cars like, and make sure that the uh, um, the method we use for top range only every time, and whatever car we want, works still works. And I already know it still works, but you know it's always fun to try it here and there, try a different car, and make sure that it still gives me the car that I want it to, the car that we choose. All right, there we go. Money, five hundred twenty-six thousand. Quit the uh, the MC here in a moment, just avoid any raids. But I really shouldn't have any. But I've been raided with just a single block before, even though it's not supposed to happen. And we still do have our documents and forgeries that could be raided. Not that I care too much about that, but we'll quit the MC just in case. Regular of it. All right. A little bit of a run. <laughs> and this is actually the shortest spot from that waterway that we just were, were uh, where we were running those boats up and down at just now. Yeah. Of the spots that it spawns, this seems to be the best spot. I don't think it ever spawns for you inside there. Maybe sometimes, but you can't really jump that fence very easily. But where you see the Avenger coming up here is about as good as it gets. <laughs> Which is not very good at all. That was somebody else here for a moment. The sponge. Okay. Good money. Mm -hmm. Avenger away. Quite often looks like it's gonna fall out of the sky, <laughs> but it doesn't. It's actually pretty quick. Yep, I have done headhunter in it, but I don't recommend it. But it will do headhunters using the uh, the bomb bay when you're by yourself, basically. Yep, which could be a pain in certain spots, but most of the targets you can you can bomb them if you get good at it. And take your time, I suppose. All right. Where will we go? Hmm. Well, I think we'll go. We'll go sell a car. Yeah, that's what I think is a good idea. 
turn away here for a second. Big as this. Although I could call in um, uh, Hello, personal this aircraft Pegasus too. Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Great. The aircraft is waiting for you at our nearest airfield. We trust you'll be happy, sir. Because I also have a cargo bomb inside my hangar, so. But that's all right. We'll just take the regular Pegasus cargo bomb over here. Yeah, so I usually, for all my uh, CEO car selling, I usually use the cargo bot for almost pretty much all the sourcing and all the selling. I find it just to be the fastest, uh, easiest way once you're used to it, and uh, the way to avoid the most damage, making the most profit. Yep. And it's very fast once you get the hang of it. It is vulnerable, but the fact that uh, that speed and ease and uh, lower damage helps pay for itself over time. Makes it very worthwhile. Yeah, let's put it right over here. There we go. All right, so here is the car warehouse. Yep, our CEO car warehouse. So we've talked before. I think it was episode 185 about our uh, how to source any top range car you want, um, and top range only. coffee there and so today we're going to change our car just to test that that it still works by changing the car I choose to a different car so I already put in the collection car in here earlier and I left it in here for us so let's see here so here's the collection screen now basically your car warehouse in a nutshell can hold 40 cars and you want to put in 36 cars so that's basically 12 um, Let's go back over to the other one. 12 uh, mid-range, 12 top range, and 12 standard range. All right, so standard, mid, and top range. Once you've filled all the right cars, all the different cars, all the different types, and you can tell which types, by if you're not familiar with them, by going to the collection screen. So you can tell it's an XCD Proto, T20, the Osiris, Cheetah, Tyrus. You know, once you have one of these kinds of cars, having those 36 cars, then when you sell a car, it's supposed to replace it with the exact same one you sold. Now I go one step further and I keep all the collection cars. So this is the export screen. And just so you guys are following along with me, we're gonna go to the collection screen. And I've told people before that I like the collection way better. So it's pretty much the exact same thing, 12 cars, 12 cars, 12 cars, um, but they're the collection screen ones, the ones with the license plates that the collection wants. So this way I'm keeping the most expensive why if you're going to keep a car why not keep the the one that's worth the most money right so keep those ones and i've never had to give me the wrong car since i did the collection screen yeah and as i've talked to people about in the in the past when i did the other way of 12 without it being the collection cars they sometimes messed up on me sometimes it would give me the wrong car but that was a long time ago i think these days it works fine either way if you have 12 random like 12 of these cars or the 12 um well 36 total uh, of the collection cars or just the car types as you get into it you'll know what i mean i hope um, that basically each one of these cars has three types so three t20s there's uh with different paint jobs this red one then another one then another one and the collection one is only one of them that's the t20 with the uh, license plate devil so when you hear about collection cars you're talking about these license plates yeah anyway Hopefully you guys know what I mean, or when you get into the car warehouses stuff, you'll, you'll get familiar with it and then watch our videos 185 and learn. Yeah. So, let's see. Export and top range. All right. So what will we do? I usually did Reapers for a very long time. I love them. They're fast and great handling. And then I went to the 811 because of the available choices. I believe the 811 is the fastest car. So it gets you back to the place faster when you do have to drive. I always use the Cargo Bob helicopter, but... Sometimes I have to drive, um, depending on what happens. So it's nice having the fastest one. That said, having the fastest one can sometimes give you, you know, accidents, things like that. Um, so if you want to be fast but careful, you might want to pick one that's quick with better handling, perhaps like the Reaper or the T20, perhaps. So let's see, which one will we change to today? Hmm, ETR, the X80 Proto, Tyrus. Hmm. The Mamba's not bad, a little bit spinny. 
and I'm probably going to change it back to the 811 afterwards, guys, but that's just for you guys so you can see. So we're going to sell this car, and then later on we'll go to the office and source it, and it should give me the exact same car type when we go to the office, or the terabyte to source too. Let's see, Sterling GT? Yeah, maybe the Sterling GT. I was thinking about getting one of these a few times, actually. Something to do, do the uh, T20 or the FMJ. Mmm, the FMJs are nice, too. Hmm, should we do the Sterling? Yeah, we'll do the... We'll do the Sterling, but I'm really tempted to do the FMJ. <laughs> All right. Export. Specialist dealer for $100,000. Confirm. Which is actually $80,000 profit because it costs you $20,000. Plate changes. <laughs> Give it some chrome. Why not? Double chrome. Mm. Sure. <laughs> I've never tried that one on there. Why not? It's a good car choice for it anyway. None of these options really matter. You just have to pick one option and they're happy. But I can't help but play with it sometimes. Yeah, I believe the carbon out on there. Not bad, you ask me. Super mesh. All right, there we go. <laughs> and you don't need to do all those options, but I like to play with it every time, every now and again. And that's a great way to try different uh, paint jobs uh, for free. Okay. And then later on, the you can try them on different done. cars. Take the car to the buyer and don't let another organization get in the way. So a lot of times I just go and source the car, and then with the same cargo bob, I usually come right out here and sell it. That's how I normally do it. There we go. Up, up, and away. There we go. And we're still alone right now. So because we're alone, there will be AI attackers spawn on the floor, on the ground, if, uh, if I'm too low. So I try to get some altitude, and then we start going. Over the water is a good way to go, too. If there was any other players in here, then there would be no AI attackers, and you wouldn't have to worry about waiting, or anybody shooting you at the ground level. That said, I really don't find those AI attackers are much of an issue when you're using the cargo bot. It's a little bit loud, guys, I know. <laughs> I don't know. And if I turned it down so the cargo bot wouldn't be so loud, then all the other effects are too low. So it's just a really loud helicopter sometimes. In the butt. But it does a job really, really well. For what it's for. So we're going across. Looks like we're going to Devin Weston's house, by the looks of it. Over these uh, small mountains, small hills. Yep. So back in the day before I cargo bobbed, I would always. Uh, find a spot just around the corner to protect and the AI attackers would show up in waves and you would kill them all off um, and then you would hop back in the car after you killed all the uh, attackers and then you'd try to drive carefully all the way across town to your cell type, to your cell, cell spot and that could be uh, damaging and long and lengthy. But nowadays with Cargo Bob, you know, I could just fly right along so here we are at the two minute mark, 13 minutes and uh, I'm already almost there and actually in a lot of places I'd already be done but Devin Weston's house over here is one of the further ones there's some bullets down there that's a couple of red guys on the road but that's okay they won't catch up to us I try to stay off the road as much as possible like fly above hills and stuff like that and that way there's less places for those uh, guys to spawn on they they only spawn on the road so if you can keep it the off-road then you may not have to worry about them so much and this is a weird spot, just aim for the top of the garage. And as long as you bring it to the top of the garage, it goes in. 
And there we go. 100,000. 80,000 profit. Another little tip, too, that I forgot to mention, too, is I let the girl, I let uh, the assistant um, talk to me when I first left off. So I have found that she talks to you and it actually gives you five more seconds or so off the radar before it alerts everybody on the map. This is huge. We got a sale. Thank you very much, Benny. <laughs> Let's get out of this helicopter. Actually, we could just, I was going to land and call it a, a vehicle, but we could just head right over to the office. It's not very far. Let's just go over here. But yeah, when you first leave, um, when you're selling cars, she will call you and tell you about how much effort you put in the car and, you know, that kind of stuff. If you, you know, quite often a lot of us players just hang up on, on all these guys because um, they're so annoying and <laughs> we hear all the calls all the time. But with that one particular call, I let her talk because it does give you five more seconds uh, before it shows up on the map. So when she does, when when she hangs up with you, that's when it starts counting down um, the alert timer to show up on the map to other players. So it's a good idea to let her talk, and uh, you'll gain a couple more seconds before uh, people see you. <laughs> All right, here we are, Lombeg West, on the coast. <laughs> I do like the ocean coast. Anything you need, boss. Thanks, Benny. I'll be back. Yeah, you can see all that water. Look, that's my boat over there. You can just barely see it over there. Sunglasses on, can you see it? There's our yacht. Those are on sale right now, too. <laughs> I like that I can see it from here. Okay, so we just stole, a, we just uh, sold a uh, Sterling GT. Hmm. Oh yeah, and the renovations are on sale too, so I think I bought the, I don't recommend it, <laughs> the safe. Uh, the second time I've bought it, I think I bought it with Maze Bank West when we, we Mays Bank West when we used to live uh, when we used to have our office there. But when I moved over here, I did not replace the uh, safe when I got all that fixed. But now I did because it was on sale. But it's still a waste of money. <laughs> Be nice if it stored more money, but basically after you make a million, it's uh, full, which is kind of good. But on the flip side, you never see a change because you're you know most players always have that much money, so it's basically always the same. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah, and now let's see if we got a Sterling GT. So now we log in. Vehicle cargo. 51,106,000. Gotta get that up higher. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sterling GT, top range, majestic plate. Perfect. So it gave us the exact one that we picked. Another top range sharp, car and the one that we picked it to be. Now I would Hi wait there. until I got uh, the uh, same Sterling GT that we got last time, the collector's one. And once I got that one back again, I would keep it. And then maybe switch back okay, to my Adel and I'll sell help. that instead. Now in closing for that guys, for some of you guys that are new to that, you do not want any extra uh, cars in your, your car warehouse. So you have 36 cars in there. And you got to be careful with any extras. So this car is being used in a photo shoot of some kind. Ignore the flashing lights. Just get the vehicle and bring it in. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, so with the car warehouse, you generally uh, um, you only want to have those thirty-six cars in there. You do not want to have any extras. So even though it can hold forty, you generally don't want to have any extras or duplicates in there. Because if you do, it'll mess up that little system that we, we that we just talked about. That's top range only. Yeah. Car mechanic. You're through to your garage. You uh, need me to bring you a ride? Hmm. It's on the way. 
And we'll use a Duke of Death. Why not? Should be right there. So even though I source with the cargo bob, a lot of times I can just pick it up and go. But this is one of the few missions where I land to deal with them. Now that said, I still could use the cargo bob and go, but then I'm risking damage and profit. And I find it's better to just come along here and take them all out. That everybody? That's everybody. <laughs> yep. Duke of Death done easy. <laughs> now, in this particular one, like many, they have a helicopter that comes after you. So, with all of these missions, if you're using the cargo bob, you want to make sure you get lots of altitude first. Don't fly away. Stay in the area. You know, there's almost like there's an invisible uh, mission area that you can't see. And you want to basically stay in it. And get as much height, as much altitude as possible. And once you go outside of this mission area, that's when it'll spawn the enemy uh, helicopters to come after you. But as long as you've got lots of height, lots of altitude, You'll be able to lean forward and go fast. Now, I don't have to worry about it too much because just over there ahead of us is my uh, car warehouse that we were just at earlier. So, I don't have to worry too much this time. So, I can just go. Here we go. Full forward. And there they are. Because I moved out of that zone, now the helicopter's behind me. It doesn't stand a chance. Let's see if we can even see it. Oh yeah, he's back there flashing lights so you guys can see it. Go just above my tail there. He won't catch up to us at all. Not for that mission. It's one of the ones I'm quite happy with my uh, car warehouse here. <laughs> with that particular mission. I can just fly right over here. And done. is it. And like I said, on a normal day that we weren't doing laid back grinding, I would just land like I am right now. Oops, a little nicer though. <laughs> and then I'd run in and sell it. Alright, that car is registered on your Securo Serve account. And I would do that right now guys, but I think we uh, we already sold that other one, so it's probably not. You can only uh, sell one of these cars every 20 minutes. So three per hour at maximum. So it probably hasn't been 20 minutes yet. So, so I'm not going to bother going in there right now. But normally, I would just go in there and do that, and then sell it right away. And then come back maybe 20 minutes later or whenever I've done other stuff and do it all over again. All right, guys, so I think that's about it for our laid back grinding for today. Hopefully we'll get some more stuff in the future. Maybe the crate warehouses, and then we'll do all this stuff again. Maybe even more uh, biker stuff before the week is over, depending on how it goes. Because it's a good, good week to do uh, as many biker sales as you can for those of you doing them. Because it's double money all week long. Yep. But I'm not done quite yet. We're gonna we're gonna do one more, one more head under, and then maybe we'll try for that key fob shirt one more time. We'll head back to the uh, nightclub. Yeah. Let's have a look at the map. There, there. Okay. Probably should call in a better helicopter, but that's okay. Our our workhorse buzzard still does a great job. And I know where they are. <laughs> this guy is right in front of a blue thing. Now I usually still fire two missiles just to be sure, because every now and again they get lucky and somehow survive. It's always fun to shoot the air air conditioning too. 
lot of these buildings all have air conditioning that explodes, which is why you should never take cover around air conditioning uh, boxes, because they will explode on you if somebody comes and shoots at you. Uh, yeah, fine. Well, these are all little ones, though. <laughs> And do that to you. That's what I mean. Damage. <laughs> uh, I don't think you require to show, though. <laughs> oh well. It's all right. We can switch helicopters. There we go. That guy hides right around the corner in there. Eating my lock on. Runner. Small arms fire. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna make it. Get over here to our Kula. Like I've, uh, we've talked about before, when you lose power, don't panic. Make sure you hold down the brake. You know, try to slow yourself down from landing. Some people think you've lost power and they let go. Don't let go. Make sure you hold down that brake and you'll you'll land much safer, even when it's all out of power. Okay, so last target, and then we're gonna head over to the uh, to the nightclub. One more key flop try, and then I'll let you guys go for now. For hopefully a short while. While I get some other stuff going, maybe have a bike team and uh, I'll go from there. Maybe Red Dead, maybe more cars, maybe both. And I think hopefully in the coming days we'll do some more laid back grinding again too. There we go. Alright. So not too bad. So I think that made roughly almost $3.4 million is what we made. And we could have worked harder and faster. But that's okay. I don't like to do that. <laughs> Laid back grinding is better. But yeah, $3.4 million, that's not bad when without a crate sale. Without a crate warehouse being sold or anything. That's pretty good. And not a full nightclub sale or anything like that. Although we did do two of them. here. <laughs> Still getting used to how, how big it is. Can't fit it in the tank spots. This is how you weed out the good partiers. See now these guys? These guys are the true partiers here, right here. <laughs> They're the ones allowed in. See? Alright. Sorted out the riffraff. <laughs> Those other guys, they really want to be here. <laughs> Even an attack helicopter crashing in front of them wasn't enough to cause them to run from the lineup. <laughs> Didn't want to lose their spot. <laughs> so that's some true fans. <laughs> All right. Eyes on main entrance. Thanks, Marcel. I'll see you soon. Keep up the good work, man. Keep up the good work. 
Should we go upstairs? VIP. Yeah, let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. It's the least we can do. Oh, we should uh, quit. Retire. You know you're going to leave anyway, and you start seeing those bills show up. It might be a good idea to retire from your MC or your company, and then you pay a little bit less in bills. Hey. Good to see you, boss. Yeah, good to see you too. Back again. What do you have, boss? We're gonna try this again. We're gonna try this again. Um, let's start with a oh, vodka shot. Good choice. Yeah. yeah, a little warm me up. A little warm me up. <laughs> well, it looks good too. Yeah, I'll take it. Perfect. Woo. All right, job well done. Mm. But that's not good enough. Come on. Want the more? Yep, definitely. Uh, we'll go with another Richards. Yeah, yeah we'll do All that. Right. Not a bad purpose. All right. All right, thanks for being here, everybody. This one's to you. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being here. Stuff. But this is the big one now. The Macbeth. Last drink of the night. <laughs> drink there, boss. So now, now I'm getting grayed out options because he's getting getting in the feeling. <laughs> in the mood. Yeah, that's right. Let's go right to the top. Or bottom. Not really sure which way it is. <laughs> right to the floor. Yeah, that that's definitely what it is. Right to the floor. <laughs> All right, woohoo! Happy laid back grinding, everybody. <laughs> Happy Where Thanksgiving. Ah, uh, don't tell me what to do. I'm the owner. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I didn't even make it as far as I did last time. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, uh. I've, ne I've never done that before. I've never been in here before. Is this the first time that's ever happened to me? <laughs> How's it going? Oh, key flop, man. Key flop. <laughs> this time I'll take the buck. Keep that between us, man. Keep it between us. The owner spends too much time in there. <laughs> uh. All right, yeah, so we gotta buy some new vehicles. Hmm. Oh, maybe that's where we'll go. Down to our B4, B4 Bennies. Although, eventually I think I'm gonna have more Bennies vehicles than I could fit down in a 10 car garage, and I'll have to maybe put them in the office for a 20 car. But for now they fit. Yeah, there's our slam van that we got the other day. And our other ones too, the Sultan RS. I really like that Sultan RS. It's a really nice drift, uh, driftable car. It's really nice. Yep. All right. Yes, yeah, so you might want to check that out if you missed it. The Benny's, uh, the Benny's Slam Van, Original Motorworks. And there's some other libraries too that are pretty cool. I wanted the Benny so that we kind of had a, uh, well, kind of a hot rod shop truck, but also kind of a Benny sign for all my other Bennies. Put it in the garage and then it announces Benny's. This is a Benny's garage. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoy this version of uh, Laid Back Grinding, episode number 307, and part two. Yeah. So, like I said, you might want to get to check uh, part one if you didn't already. You don't want to watch it backwards. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> and I'll see you guys again soon for more. Not really exactly sure if I'll hop into one of those classic cars first or one of the ones that aren't for sale first, like the, uh, the Rapid GT Classic that I was mentioning. And there is some other ones, too. Yeah. So I'll see you guys back here for more. Oh, oh over here. Yeah, it's much easier to do that with my mouse and keyboard than it is on the controller. <laughs> but I'm getting better now that I'm playing Red Dead. I have to, I have to get better at using the controller with the PS4 on that one. I got a kick out of the beaded seats. There's better seats, but I, I just can't help. The, <laughs> I thought the beaded seats were hilarious. Yep. Good for his back. Yeah. See, he's comfortable. Uh, yeah. That's nice. 
<laughs> oh, cinematic camera. That's that's what happened. <laughs> Yeah, terrible brakes, terrible sliding, but it's actually a lot of fun. When you're in the mood and you want to slip all over the all over the road, this is a this is a really good choice for that kind of car, that kind of truck. <laughs> all right, everybody. Well, we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks to all our Patreon fans, especially for uh, and all of you guys for helping to make all this stuff happen. So, I'll see you guys again soon. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the uh, comments down below. And uh, if you have any quests or, uh, or any other content ideas or anything, I generally read all the comments. Sometimes it takes me a little bit of time to get back to people, but I try to read them all. No, oh, I do read them all. Yeah, I think I read them all. Yeah. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you again next time. Oh, I was hoping I could race up on you like that, but... What's good? Well, money's good. We just made lots of that, didn't we? <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you again soon. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah, the Rapid GT Classic is uh, is this one. Which has me thinking about muscle because you can do it up as a really nice muscle car too. So. Yeah, some people you can do a Diablo recreation for those that remember what the Diablo is from GTA 3. It's a pretty good car for doing that. Flames and the engine hanging out and everything. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Till next time, everybody. Oh. I bet you this thing does amazing donuts in the snow. <laughs> have to see this here. Still no key bomb shirt. What's with that? What's with the key bomb? <laughs> Just gonna have to keep on getting drunk. <laughs> Inner peace or alcoholism? One or the other. <laughs> See you next time, everybody.